Hey guys, what is up? Spad is here once again with another video for you. Today, I'm gonna be showing you on how to do this effect on your GoPro Max 360. Okay, so this effect is very good when you are transitioning from doing your vlogs, moto vlogs, travel vlogs, traveling to one place to another so that you have a good transition of footages. So I use this a lot on my travel videos. Um, if you haven't seen it, you can check it out. So if you're interested in how to do that, I'm gonna show you step by step on how to come up with that cool transition effect on your 360 a GoPro Max. Before we proceed, there are a couple of things that we need to prepare in order for us to edit this. Number one is I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. Now make sure that you have that PC. There's a 30-day trial version of Adobe Premiere. You can download that Adobe site. That's good for Mac and then PC. Number two is the GoPro player for Windows, GoPro player for Mac. We're gonna use the GoPro player to convert the 360 video from the GoPro Mac into a MP4 file so that we can edit it on Adobe Premiere. Okay, so that's the second thing that we need to get. The third thing that we need to prepare is the reframe plugin of GoPro for Adobe Premiere. You can search that over on the internet, but I'm gonna leave the link in the description in case that you're lazy. <laughs> to install that over to the uh, Premiere, um, it's really easy. All you have to do is just follow the setup process and it will install the, the effects reframe on Adobe Premiere. Okay, so once we have those three set up, we're ready to edit your 360 footage and then add this cool effect on your videos. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so before we proceed, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe and then follow my social media accounts because I'm going to be creating a lot of tutorials on what I'm doing behind the scenes, on what I'm doing with my footages, my 360, drone, everything that I do on my video editing before I post it up on YouTube. So make sure that you are up to date with that. Subscribe and then follow my social media accounts, okay? So without further ado, let's go. Let's go in. Uh, before editing, we need to convert the 360 footage into an MP4 uh, format so that we can edit it on Premiere. So the things that we need to do is we need to get the GoPro player for Windows. I'm using Windows. So we need the GoPro player so that we can open the raw 360 from your SD card from the GoPro Max. Okay, so I have here on the right side, I have all the raw 360 files from the GoPro. What I do is I take off the SD card. I have a card reader and I, and I put it on the 3.0 USB and then I copy it on my hard disk. Now, this is what it looks like in my hard disk. So what I do is I just double click on one of the 360 files that should open up in the GoPro player okay so this is what it looked like in the GoPro player okay so that's me right there <laughs> okay so first thing you need to do is you need to toggle off the world lock right here that's the lock icon or the padlock icon you need to click on that make sure that it's not highlighted in blue the horizon level we're gonna leave it as it is okay so that will remain highlighted as blue so that we will know that it's toggled on uh this one on the the bottom we're not gonna change we're, we're not gonna touch that that we need to disable is the world lock because it's easier for us to manipulate the 360 footage when the world lock is off once that is done all we have to do is just click on file and then export as and then on the three choices right here we're gonna choose 5.6k okay so the reason behind why i'm choosing 5.6k is that you need to have a lot of pixels for your 360 video so that you can zoom in zoom out without the video getting pixelated or being crappy okay so we i'm i'm choosing 5.6k but if your computer can't handle the 5k resolution you can downgrade or custom so right now we are at the export settings right here so make sure that our world lock is toggled off 
horizon level is okay and then we need to make sure that we click on hardware encoding and also in the codec make sure that you click on cineform cineform is the best quality among the three okay so click on that and then all you have to do is send to queue i'm just gonna close the preview right here okay so right now we have it ready so before you export make sure that you double check everything codec cineform resolution 5.6k uh, world lock is off horizon level is on and then hardware encoding you can choose 360 audio but for my footages i disabled it so it's not clickable here last but not least uh, make sure that your output directory is pointing to where you would like to save the video so i've already exported the video for that mp4 file so it's already right here the file that i'm gonna edit is the gs010657 so i'm just gonna drag it in on my timeline but before you drag it in on the timeline make sure that your timeline is set or your sequence setting is set to whatever resolution that you're gonna edit so in my case right here i'm gonna go to sequence sequence settings i have editing mode is custom because my frame size i'm editing in 4k so the frame size is 3840 by 2160 click on custom and then you can edit all of that and then i'm editing on 60 fps display format is 60 fps just right there uh, aspect ratio is square pixel and then you can leave everything um, as it is and then on the preview i just put it on 1080p because that's only preview whenever you preview it on the premiere Okay, I'm gonna click OK and then we're gonna go ahead and drag the footage on Premiere Pro. So once you imported that, you can actually preview that on your preview screen on or on your preview window. Um, as you can see, uh, the footage is stretched. This is actually the raw 360 footage of the GoPro Max. So what we're gonna do is... We need we need to find the GoPro uh, reframe plugin on the effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and type reframe. Okay, and here it is the GoPro FX reframe. So what we need to do is we need to drag this out to the 360 video. And as you can see, there is uh, black borders on all the sides, but don't worry, we can fix that. All you have to do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the um, effects control panel right here if that's not showing like this one all you need to do is just click on the video and all the effects of that video will show up if you're not yet familiar on how to work on the control panels or effect control panels adobe premiere i'm gonna link a video in the description so that you can watch it before proceeding on my tutorial okay so once you've uh, watched that I'm gonna go ahead and proceed right here. So I'm gonna scroll down and look for the GoPro FX reframe. Once you've seen that, just click on projection. Okay, and on the right side, there's a drop down right there. So right now, the 360 video is shown as a 1080p. So we're gonna change that into a 4K video because I'm exporting and editing in 4K. So I'm gonna scroll down and click on GoPro 4K 16 by 9. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that and then as you can see, it fixed the video. So we can go ahead and start off with putting the effects on the video. So, and then I'm gonna show you the keyframe if you don't know what keyframes are in Adobe Premiere search on the YouTube uh, there's an explanation on how to do that okay if you haven't tried that out yet if it's your first time to work on free frames watch that video and then come back here and then watch the, the rest of the tutorials okay so as you can see um, I have a couple of reframes right here that will change the angle of the 360 cam depending on the beat of my music okay so right now i've already added the, the keyframes right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this so that i can go ahead and show you guys on how to do it from the start this is the raw video of the 360 cam um, you can go ahead and reposition the cam 
I'm gonna start off with the 100% zoom. The 100% zoom is where the original zoom of your 360 cam. Okay, so first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the beat where we're gonna change the angle of the 360 cam from our music. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it up on my premiere right here. Let me go ahead and find our first beat, okay? Okay, so that's our first beat right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that by clicking in the add marker on the premiere. Okay, so that's the first beat. Okay, so adding markers is one way to mark on a certain beat or a certain portion of your video so that you can you will know part where you're gonna do the edit but in my end what i do is i actually use the cutting tool okay right here or the razor tool so from our first um beat right there i'm gonna cut the music okay so i'm just gonna play it here Okay, so I'm and then I'm gonna use the cutting uh, the razor tool and then I'm gonna cut the audio. Okay, so I can split up the audio like that. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed to the next beats and I'm gonna cut it so that I will know which part of the beat I'm gonna add the effects. Okay. Okay, so once you have marked your music or your beats in your music to where you're gonna change the angle of the 360 video next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna enable the toggle animation for the GoPro FX reframe to toggle those uh, animation all you have to do is click on this circle um, th things Okay, all you have to do is just click on it and it will make a couple of keyframes right here on the right side. Let me go ahead and push that up. Okay. So once that in, all you have to do is just pick your start point for your GoPro Max uh, footage. Mine is right here. So 100 zoom camera. So, so this is our start point. What I want is when it hits the first beat or the marker. So I want it to zoom out to 75% zoom. So what I need to do is for the key keyframe, I need to highlight this and then I'm gonna click on Alt. And at the same time, I'm gonna drag the keyframe towards the left. Okay. And then I'm gonna zoom in by dragging this knob right here okay then i'm gonna click inside the keyframe window then i'm gonna hit shift and then left arrow two times okay that should automatically move the indicator 20 frames from the original position earlier okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this frame right here to the indicator and then i'm gonna go ahead and shift and then right arrow two times to go back to the original uh, position the original position is actually the the beat from the music that we have okay so what what i'm gonna do is i want to zoom out to 75 percent and then rearrange the camera of the 360 okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna Edit the animation toggle to 75%. That will create a toggle animation right there, a keyframe. As you can see, it created a keyframe. And then I'm gonna click on projection. And then I'm just gonna move it a little bit on the top. Okay, so the GoPro uh, footage is gonna move or gonna change its position 
from this into this together with the beat so let me go ahead and show you that so i'm gonna go ahead and do those for the remaining of the beats so in this time on my third beat i'm gonna go ahead and position the camera on my left side so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on the video of the 316 my timeline click on projection and then on my preview window i'm gonna drag to the left okay so the the preview window is will be the same if you're familiar with your phone and how to edit the 360 video on your phone it will be the same on the gopro fx reframe all you have to do is just you know click and drag everything on your preview window as long as you're clicking the projection and you're highlighting your 360 video right there so i'm gonna position it right just here for my next beat okay and then i want my tilt to be as default so i'm just gonna click on the reset parameter right here so that it will go to zero zero or you can z put input zero zero right there okay so that's good enough for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag the keyframes earlier into uh right next to my newly created keyframes for my second beat okay because right now what will happen is i'm gonna show you okay as you can see it didn't stop right there it continuously moved to the next um, camera location so what we need to do to prevent that is we need to duplicate this angle right here okay until we are close to the next beat so what we're gonna do is my technique is i'm gonna highlight the next beat right there okay so i know that's the next beat i'm gonna go ahead and shift and left arrow key twice again 20 frames back okay once i figure out where the 20 frames is located on the keyframe window i'm gonna go ahead and highlight the previous position of the cam and then click on alt key i don't know what that would be on the mac because i'm using windows just search it on the google and then you're gonna go ahead and drag it so alt you need to highlight first hold alt key and then drag it all the way to that line okay so now let me show you what it looks like when you have that as you can see um it it just moves quickly and not continuously from the previews um, camera angle to the next okay so i'm gonna go ahead and complete the third uh beat because the third beat is a little bit earlier than my previous first beat so i'm gonna go ahead and position we're gonna go ahead and do the same steps so i'm gonna click on the video click on production i'm gonna go ahead and pull the preview window i'm gonna go ahead and put it on straight forward on my tilt camera i'm still gonna use zero default so i'm gonna just go ahead and put it zero and on my uh, zoom i'm gonna maintain 75 percent still okay so once that's done i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the previous camera so that it will it will maintain its position until the last second of the beat okay so we're gonna go ahead and go back 20 frames again so in order to do that i'm gonna go ahead and click shift and then left arrow twice okay once that's done i'm gonna go ahead and highlight again and then hold alt key and then left click and drag it all the way to the line 
I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next beat. Okay, same, the same um, steps. I'm gonna move it on the left side right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit shift, left key twice, highlight the previous um, keyframes, click out, and then drag it all the way to the straight line. Now, we're gonna go ahead and preview what we've done so far. Okay, once that's done, I'm um, actually one, two, three, four. I'm on the fifth beat of my music. So on the fifth fifth beat, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the original angle of my shot right there. Okay. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and step back 20 frames so shift two lefts okay i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit okay uh, when you zoom in on the keyframe uh, tab all you have to do is just scroll to the right or the left and then drag it like that okay so once that's position, I'm gonna go ahead and out duplicate the key. So it's right there. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next beat. This time I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out 50% right there. And I'm gonna adjust the angle. This time I'm gonna push up. Like that, push up, push down, whatever you like. Okay, once I've already done that, I'm gonna go ahead and same process. 20 frames back, duplicate, then drag. Okay, and on my fourth beat, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my original 75% zoom. So, 75% zoom. I'm gonna fix the position of the 360 right there okay and then 20 frames back and duplicate the previous angle so let's go ahead and preview that Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my last three beats. So for my last three beats, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out all the way so I can create the tiny planet. I'm gonna go ahead and hit 35 on the zoom. And then I'm gonna pull it up just like that. Okay, once I'm done with the angle I'm gonna go ahead and 20 frames back drag and duplicate okay uh, on my second to the last beat I'm gonna go ahead and create a tiny planet so from my original angle and zoom I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it out just like that Okay, and then on my tilt camera, I'm gonna go ahead and input minus 90 degrees to create a tiny planet. Okay, and on my zoom, I'm gonna go ahead and put 25 or 15, maybe 18, right there. I'm just gonna reposition it just like that. Okay, when I'm done, go back. 20 frames duplicate and drag okay on my last beat i'm gonna go ahead and 
rotate the tiny planet on the counterclockwise you can actually do it on your previous screen um, oh, there, there as you can see there are squares on the sides what you need to do to rotate it is just push up on the right hand square and then it will rotate okay I'm not gonna explain how to do the uh, reframe on the preview window of the premiere there are a lot of videos already out there so don't be lazy go ahead and search for that so that you can learn okay <laughs> so once I have that go back 20 frames duplicate and then drag I'm gonna go ahead and rough preview all the effects that I've done so that I will know that it will sync up onto the beat. Okay, so I'm gonna play it right now. Okay, so as you can see, my last beat, I, I added in a different uh, footage. Because I'm actually going in the town on that uh, on that footage right there, so I've changed it. So once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and render that. Render in and out. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to finish rendering it, so that we can preview the footage in high quality. Okay, so couple of tips on your Premiere Pro when doing the 360 videos because the 360 videos with 5k resolution is really heavy on the processor and the graphics card so what you need to do is you need to tone down the preview quality of the footage that you're previewing especially on the 360 uh, 5k resolution so I'm gonna show you how that's done um, on the preview window right here uh, you can see there's a one fourth sign right there um, if you drop that down there is a full one half one fourth and then one eighth the full is the full resolution or the full quality of the footage right there so if you put in full quality and it's not yet rendered um, the preview will be choppy so while you're editing just make sure that you drop down to one half, one fourth, and one eighth, depending on how powerful your machine is. So mine, I drop it down to one fourth. Now, right now, since we've finished rendering all of it, as you can see, it's green right now, meaning it has previews already. So when you play the video, it will play the full quality of the clip or of the video and not just one fourth or one half of the quality okay so we're gonna go ahead and preview it right now one last time okay so that's done we have already rendered it and then we are now ready to export so i'm gonna go ahead and click on export click on media okay and on our export settings we're gonna go ahead and select h.264 basic and then on our presets we're gonna click on match source high bitrate and then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down on our video tab from the video tab we're not gonna change the width and the height because we know that it's that we already input the 4k dimensions on the video so that's 4k already and then right here the frame rate we're not gonna change that 60 frames per second okay so that remains right there all you have to do is just scroll down and then on our encoding settings we're going to change hardware encoding to software encoding. I use software encoding because it's much more stable. If uh, I once tried hardware encoding and the Premiere uh, crashes. So we're going to use hardware, uh, software encoding right there. Okay. 
profile we're gonna uncheck it we're gonna go to high and then on level we're just gonna uncheck it make sure it's 5.2 okay so that's my settings right there we're, we're gonna scroll down on bitrate settings now this is important where on the bitrate encoding click on vbr2 pass okay and then our target bitrate i'm gonna make it 100 on my maximum bitrate i'm gonna click on 200 okay this is my export settings why make my videos have high quality whenever it's in youtube or it's in facebook okay i'm gonna create a separate video explaining all of this to you on how you will export your 360 or gopro videos into 4k watchable in facebook or youtube okay so right now i'm just gonna show you my export settings right here i'm gonna click on use previews just to make sure that it's using all of the uh, elements available to render it down okay and then on my output name okay get save and then export okay and that's it that's the end of my tutorial right there i hope you learned a thing or two and i hope that it will help and make your travel vlogs and videos of your 360 much more interesting okay once again Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and follow my social media accounts. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye!